Well, today I figured I'd talk a little bit about gasoline, and uh, more specifically, the gasoline we get here in Minnesota. Um, the gasoline sold in Minnesota is E10, which means it's got 10% ethanol. Um, so a gallon of gas would be, 10% of it would be ethanol, basically how it works, and that's um, mandated by the state. The state says that the gas sold here has to be that. Uh, I believe it's one of four states, I'm not really up on my numbers, but uh, that actually mandate it and other states allow it up to a certain percent um, you know 10 percent or one percent or whatever uh, so you can get it anywhere in the country quite a bit of the gas is that but what I wanted to talk about is uh, sort of the problem with E10 gas when you leave it sit around for a long time um, regular gasoline won't absorb water from the air the only way water can really get into it is if uh, condensation happens inside the tank and the water uh, will condense on the walls when the temperature changes and actually run into the gasoline and settle on the bottom <coughs> and that's where you get uh, problems with regular gasoline but when you mix ethanol in it ethanol will actually absorb water from the air so what happens is if there's air in the tank with uh, moisture in it which you know all air pretty much has moisture um, it will find its way into the gasoline and be absorbed into it and especially if it sits out for a long time you'll get a lot of gas or a lot of uh, water in your gas and uh, what happens once it re reaches a saturation point um, is the gas separates from the ethanol and the water and I'm going to see if I can't show you a little demonstration of that um, with, this, uh, with this glass beaker thing I don't know what it is I found it out in the woods so it's not really clean but it'll work and I've got water in here and I've made a line right there to show where the water starts out at and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour some gas in here some E10 and uh, this line should move up and there should be at least two distinct layers there probably be a third if I let it sit uh, it gets kinda cloudy and nasty but I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in and we're gonna see what happens alright well I've gone ahead and I've added some uh, gasoline to my water and stirred it up and I've let it settle a little bit and get all the bubbles out but you can see that's the amount of original water I had in it that line and uh, now you can see where it's separated here this above here is uh, gasoline and this on the bottom is a water and ethanol mixture and what's happened is uh, the ethanol has absorbed enough water to the point where it actually sinks down and separates from the gasoline um, <laughs> this can happen uh, over time especially when the temperature changes because warmer E10 fuel can actually hold more water and keep the ethanol and water in suspension uh, when it's warmer out it can hold more and when it cools down it will actually phase separate sort of like this now this is an extreme example usually people don't leave fuel in their vehicles that long they burn it up pretty quick um, me on the other hand I leave you know, a couple gallons in the tank for a year you know so this is probably happening in some of my vehicles that I've let sit around but uh, this just goes to show you what will happen and at the bottom once a phase separates you'll have a little bit of ethanol and water mixture which doesn't really burn well because it's got a ton of water in it and then on top you will actually have a lower octane gasoline because they what they do is they take a lower octane gasoline and they mix it with ethanol and that actually raises the octane so let's say this is 87 and it's E10 87 so once it phase separates you'll have maybe 84 up here and you'll have just the ethanol water at the bottom which isn't really good for starting cars especially in the winter time so I think this could be quite a bit of my problem with my cars along with you know the million other things that are wrong with them but I just wanted to show you a little example of phase separation I think I'm gonna let this sit overnight and let it all settle out and I'll save this gas because I'm cheap I'll put it in my Buick it'll run